Hi, I'm Julia M. Spencer, real estate advisor, investor, and enthusiast. And we're here in a condominium complex where I used to live and later on own some rental property. And there's a couple of things I want to talk about buying condos as an investment strategy. There's a bunch of um, advantages, there's also a bunch of disadvantages. This particular condo complex has, I think, about 26 or 28 units. I know this because when I lived here, I actually managed um, some of the property, uh, managed the whole property in terms of um, getting the monies from the uh, people that lived here as the fees, the condo fees. Um, it has a small little pool, it has some ponds as you can see behind me. Um, there's a tennis complex over here and that's kind of all these amenities that are being paid for by condo association fees. Um, now the good thing about, or the bad thing I guess about condo association fees, if you live here and you own a condo, you cannot deduct condo association fees off your taxes, but if you rent your condo out to somebody, then you can, because it's an expense associated with renting the property. Um, the one thing that's a disadvantage though, when you rent out your condo in a complex like this, you're going to have to deal with the condo association. And depending on what kind of condo association that is, you may have a lot of problems because people are very particular how they want to keep the area. You're basically living in a more glorified apartment complex where everybody has their own little space, but they're still attached. Um, and another, an, another disadvantage of having the condo in a complex like this and use it as rental property or investment property is that um, the houses are attached, they're like kind of townhouses. So what happened to me is my neighbor had a flood in her kitchen and it kind of seeped over to my side. So all of a sudden I had a flood too. The same goes actually if you own a townhouse or an attached kind of building that's attached to another building. Um, the same goes true if there's a fire. There was a fire in, in this complex one time. And of course the condo itself as well as the next condo next to it had issues. Um, also there's always people complaining about paying the fees and what the money should be applied for. So unless you really like dealing with a lot of people and getting along with a lot of people and everybody has their own agenda, condo is a very difficult thing to use as an investment property. Now this particular complex here is in a gated community. Um, we don't live here anymore and we, we kind of just drove in. We drove up in our car and we said we're looking to buy and they kind of just let us in. But um, it should really not be this way. It should be more um, more secure. But the problem with a gated community is if you want to show somebody or put something online that you're trying to rent or sell, um, there people are going to have a hard time getting into a gated community. You have to announce them. You have to tell the gate guards who's coming and when they're coming. So it makes it just really difficult. People can't just drive by and look at it and then get back with you. And so you're exposed to a lot less people that want to rent. So all in all, I ended up just selling my condo here to my, one of my tenants. Um, I did this so I could save on the um, real estate um, selling fees for the realtor. So I didn't list it. I just went and found a really good tenant and told him, hey, you want to buy this? and we saved the 6% and we got a really good price. Um, so for more tips like this, go to my website, www.juliamspencer.com. M stands for money. Download your free guide to real estate investing today and sign up for my newsletter. Thank you. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.